Well, some of us will never know what it's like to win a big race like a derby. And that feat had eluded Bridport trainer Wayne Rattray as well. That was until a horse named Admiral Coralta came on the scene and Brett Neild caught up with Wayne earlier in the week. An attractive three-year-old with enormous potential, Admiral Coralta was not really expected to worry the likes of Zuganov Leagues or classy Victorian Pacer creases, but the Nuggety Bay Colt had other plans. We got in behind the leader with Barry with Red and the Blues, and once we got there, we always reckoned there was a chance to run none. And uh, it developed into a staying race, that's the ball the aces had, uh, had them running and the fear of dropping off from behind, we were able to hang on and uh, we got a half day around the top circle and I started jumping up and down the seat, realising there was some chance and uh, said you better try and Andrew and they uh, brought him out and tried him at the top of the stripe and he just outstayed him. And Admiral Corolla wins the derby. It's not my biggest win, uh, I gave and train and gave Napoleon Stone from the first championship win and that was a great thrill of course to drive and trainer and the first one but it was a big thrill on the night because I'd never been able to win a derby and I'd had well, supposedly better horses than this horse, time will tell that, but um, uh, I had some pretty good ones and uh, this race just eluded me, something was always wrong. I remember one night I led and just got pipped in the shadow of the post, but uh, uh, we didn't expect to win and when it happened, yes, it was a big thrill, one of the biggest thrills for sure. One has to wonder how Admiral Coralta, with already seven wins and nine placings from just 23 starts, stacks up against some of the champion paces Rattray has trained over the years. Coralta Bay was a great three-out. He's on a track record of 56-3 in Hobart, and he would have been a faster horse, and probably, you'd have to say, a better three-out than this horse. Uh, I've had Coralta Gift was a speed horse that ran in Inter Dominion and uh, went to Victoria, and Ben Binskin had great success with him, Darren Binskin. Uh, we thought, we, we think they were better horses, but time will tell, this horse is a good star. He hasn't got the highest speed of Karada Bay and Gift and the uh, Astro Francais, he was, he was something special, Astro Francais. Young rangeman Andrew Arnott has a real bond with the Admiral, having won on him at six of his seven victories and tasted his biggest success with the Derby win at the tender age of just 22. Andrew was thrilled with the drive, he remembered him saying during the week, it was, I wasn't thinking about something else. He said, oh, I'm not going to do that. I might get hurt. I'm going to better drive than the derby. I thought, well, he's keen enough. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, he came, left school and came to me when I was at Longford when he was 16 or 17. And he left school and worked with me and started to drive as a junior driver. And uh, he had 18 months, two years with me and then stayed on with Barry when I left and came here. Had four years with Barry and uh, he just had ideas of getting out on his own and he left Barry four or five months ago and I said, oh, I've got a couple of young ones that are a bit lively for me, you better see how you go here and he's going to have just perhaps a short time with me and then go out on his own. The sport of harness racing, like any code, can have its ups and downs, but Wayne has no regrets about his chosen path. Oh, the horses have been good to me. I've done things during my lifetime that I wouldn't have done otherwise. I, all right, so perhaps there's an element of luck there and a little bit of skill, but... Uh, it's changed my life. They've been good to me, and uh, I won over 100 races one year. First trainer to train 100 races, galloping or harness racing. And um, I was 37 when I started. I was coaching footballers and playing football in the country. And, and uh, I was 37. I'm from a racing family. A, a great uncle had the winner of Easter Cup at, at Launceston way back in the 20s sometime. And, uh, uh, my father himself wasn't into horses and I played my sport, tennis, cricket and footy and uh, then when time came to give that away I looked for something else and I drifted into harness racing. Admiral Corelta is currently leading in the Horse of the Year award at Hobart and with that in mind Rattray is not making too many interstate plans with him just yet. We could send him to New South Wales for the three-hour size after Easter uh, but we'll see how many points we've tied up in Horse of the Year in TPC and, uh, and if we... You know, we'll work it out from there. Thanks, Brett.